Ok, vamos allá. Este, so, this is my, uh, wait, get this out the way. This is my, uh, first, uh, get out of here. This is my first tutorial. Here we go. This is my first tutorial, my first video, little stupid video tutorial I'm making. Um, I'm making this really because I'm, this is for future reference for me because I'm, I'm trying to study for my, uh, Red Hat. Uh, what is it? RHCSA uh, exam. So I'm doing a few uh, few things here on CentOS. It's basically the same thing as Red Hat. Um, just to uh, just for future reference for me and for anybody who wants to use this. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show y'all how to go into single user mode for uh, basic troubleshooting. Uh, in my case, I'll, what I'm gonna do, in this case, I'm, what I'm pretty, pretty much all I'm gonna do is uh, log into single music, uh, single user mode to uh, reset the root path, root password. Um, basically, I'm just gonna go into the bootloader and uh, modify some kernel arguments, and uh, that's pretty much it. And then you log into single user mode and reset the password. And then restart. So here we go. Um, I'm already, I'm already. Uh, the machine's already up. So I'm just gonna restart it. So when it's log, when it's booting up, you have to be real careful. You gotta watch for this, uh, this um, dialog. You know that little countdown thing. I'll show you this one right here. You gotta make sure to press enter real fast. So uh, the bootloader pops up, right? So right now I have a protected bootloader. I have a password protected bootloader, so nobody can get into single user mode, single user mode, and just reset the root password. You know, on a logo, just random. So what I want to do here is when you come up to the bootloader, if you don't have a protected bootloader, you don't have to do this step, but in my case I do so after press P you just read the instructions at the bottom that pretty much guide you so I want to press P to enter a password and uh, what was the password Let's see if that's right okay there we go so um, here we go so you once you get to the bootloader once you have an unlocked bootloader you just select the kernel that you want to boot from right that's the first thing you want to highlight and select the bootload the kernel you want to boot from. In my case, I only have one kernel, so here we go. So I'm just gonna edit this one. You press E to edit, right? And then you select the kernel line, right? And I'm gonna press E to edit that. And all you gotta do is add space one, and that kernel argument right there is to uh, specify the run level. So I want it to run at run level one, which is single user mode. And uh, that's it, you just press enter right there. And then uh, you press B, you pretty much uh, press B to boot. It's just just like it says at the bottom there, press B to boot. So I'll press B. It's gonna start booting right now. So it's not supposed to uh, boot like all the services and stuff like that. It's just real basic because it's a single user mode. It's real basic. I would, I guess you could kind of compare it to safe mode, but like really even more basic than safe mode and uh, and Windows. So uh, here we go. I'm a single user mode. Basically, what I like to do is just to make sure um, I can. I want to. I want to remount the file system is read write because I'm not sure if it I think it mounts it as read only so I want to remount so what I do is the mount command mount command right of oh, options uh, remount rewrite and uh, the root file system right so now you got that done right um, you can see and check you know you can check around and look at the file system or whatever but uh, basically what I'm gonna do is real quick is reset the root password right so here we go 
password. Uh, let's change it to uh, CentOS. It'll give you a, a warning if it's too basic, if the password is too basic, but whatever. I don't care. So that's it. That's pretty much it. We're done here. Um, after that, you just restart. And uh, you can check and see if the password has been uh, reset, but it should be. That's pretty much it. So uh, I'm done. Uh, that's my first tutorial. Hope you'll like it.